Travis says, hey, Robbie and Carrie, when I try hey, to Travis. copy files, movies, images, for example, okay. uh, from my internal hard drive to my external hard drive that are larger than 4 gigabytes, mm -hmm. I get a message that says I can't copy files larger than 4 gig. Why is that? Can I change that or get around it somehow? From is that Travis? a flash drive? Is that what he's saying? Internal hard drive to external hard drive, so it could be anything. Yeah, it sounds immediately, it sounds like your drive has been formatted FAT32. Uh, so that, what that means is that uh, it's an old file system that isn't compatible with larger files. So what you would need to do if you want to use files that are bigger than 4 gigabytes, you need to format that thing as, as a file system that supports those, those file sizes. The pain about it is that it means that you need to get all the files off of it that are currently on it. So if it's pretty full right now, I hope that you have another, uh, another drive that you can copy things over before formatting because you're going to basically be wiping out the drive. If you're using Windows, now you haven't mentioned, Travis, which operating system you're using, I don't think. Um, no. Didn't hear it. So if you're using Windows, you want to go with NTFS. That's the NT file system. That's uh, like Windows XP, Windows NT, Windows 2000, Windows Vista. Uh, they all use that uh, file system. So you're going to be able to f reformat that external drive using NTFS instead of FAT32. And now you're going to be able to store those 4 gigabyte plus files uh, on there. Uh, if you're on Linux, just format it any Linux uh, partition, uh, forgetting the fact that you know it's currently formatted FAT32. Get those files off of there and then reformat it as uh, ext3 or whatever is appropriate for you uh, but if you want to be able to access it from a windows machine in the future you're better to format it ntfs regardless because linux will read and write to the windows file system windows on the other hand doesn't know how to read linux file systems so you're better if you're going to be transferring this external hard drive to and from windows and linux systems uh, go with ntfs because that's going to make it compatible with both linux and windows let us know if, uh, if that worked for you, and uh, what else, uh, like if you have any more questions. Great. Thanks for your question, Travis. 